I've listened to David Sinclair many times on Joe Rogan's podcast. Uh, and then I also take at night some metformin, which is probably the most radical thing that I take, which is a, a prescribable drug for diabetes. I actually think a lot of the stuff he said were um, actually like out of touch and a little bit ridiculous. Really? Like, well, if you're not a scientist, like why is he taking metformin? Yes. Why is he doing yeah, all like, yep, yep. I just I just think That's that yep. he's out of line yeah, with yep. a lot of the stuff that he's telling like I guess it's okay, he's a scientist, he's messing around, he's trying things out, but like, he's literally telling it to millions of people and they're gonna wanna go out and try it. And I, I think that that's, it'd be interesting, he's like, I'm trying this thing, but don't anybody go try this. He's just like talking about doing it. And I, I felt like it was a little like irresponsible. Totally, of, of, yeah. Um, somebody who's that high up, I guess. Maybe there are ways to talk about what you're actually doing uh, that are questionable. Like you're not sure, you're just trying it. And then whenever you do that, um, you do it in a certain way to make sure that other people aren't, don't get the wrong idea and start doing it yeah. with you. And maybe that's good, but yeah, he, whenever he was doing that, he wasn't trying that on, very hard. On the flip side, I, I don't know who, if you know who he is, but I love people like Dr. Tony Huge, mm. who's like, I'm trying every steroid and SARM on the planet, and I'm gonna tell you what it does. And for I, some reason, I, like that too, you know? I wanna see it. Like, yeah. even though I know like, it's not great that he's telling people this, and. I, I know him and he's a friend of mine and stuff like that, but like I'm kind of like, you're a little irresponsible and dangerous, but you're also awesome because you're giving, you're giving us this information that no one else is gonna give us ever and we're never gonna be able to find it. So I, it's true. There's always two sides of these coins, all so, of it. So, 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 so for him, he's like, but he's kind of like doing it, at, that's his shtick, right? Like, yeah. yeah. For with Sinclair, the difference with, between him and Sinclair, Sinclair's like a Harvard scientist. And in fact, I got into the most trouble about this, this particular case because a lot of some people in my at my school like him a lot. In fact, know him, and um, interviewed with him and all sorts of other things. So the problem is, is he's such a respected scientist, and he's saying these things yeah. as if. And then he's he's giving caveats like I don't recommend this, but he's saying it in such a way that like this is the thing. Yeah, you, you know think, what I mean. Yeah. So like even if you listen to his caveats, you're like I've got to try it. Yeah, you know. And uh, there's no good evidence for any of it. This. Life.